What's good everyone, it's your boy Duck, and today we're gonna be looking at some of the weirdest and creepiest videos that we found on the internet this week. Slurp it! Ah! Oh, slurp it! Inhale that sauce! Join us, my young one! Join us! To add some context, a long time ago on this channel, I had a series called Weird Videos and Chill, where we would react to some of the weirdest videos we could find on the internet. And in all honesty, it was really just a ripoff of Cory Kenshin's Spooky Scary Sunday, but it was really fun to make, and you guys seemed to really enjoy them. So I thought I'd bring it back one more time. Maybe this video will completely take, and I'll never do it again. But I had to try it one more time, because the videos we found this week were pretty damn strange. Starting with this first video called The Kid and the Camera, by Grumbled Entertainment, which is definitely going to traumatize some of you. Once upon a star, there lived a boy named Kalen. He was a happy little tot of six years old, and on his birthday, he received a very special gift his very own photo camera. Yes! Kalen loved the camera so much that he took it out every day, snapping photos of anything he could. A picture here, a picture there. And a picture and everywhere. A terrible accident happened. He broke the camera. And the camera broke. Sorry, buddy. Kalen didn't sleep a wink. Haunted by thoughts of his once perfect camera late into the night. That was when a sudden sound caught his attention. On your window? Is he knocking at your window? It's not your camera knocking, bro. Is that your camera? Do not open that window. Rule number one, do not open that window, bro. Do not open that window. We all know this. Your parents should have taught you this already. If you hear anything at night, and do not open. On the other side of Kalen's bedroom window, a large winged creature. The hell is there, this? young lad, greeted the creature. I'm the Kipsneed, your sleep fairy. Sleep fairy? That is correct, replied the Kipsneed. My job is to make sure you get a good night's sleep. Uh, it's come to my attention that you haven't been resting at all lately. I'd like to know the reason why. He's just dreaming. Kalen had never heard of a sleep fairy. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. Strangers? I'm no stranger. I know all the girls and boys around the globe. I know their parents their homes, their names. Why, I even know your name. Sound like Kaylin. a pedophile, sir. Now, would a stranger- Get out of my window. Name? I'm calling my mom. Kalen thought on it for a moment. No, I guess not. If you must know why I'm awake. It's my camera. It's broken. And just Can like you fix it for me? Tears welled up in Kalen's eyes. Let me see. Then the Kipsneed had an idea. Why don't I get this camera fixed for you? Okay. Perhaps that would help you sleep easier. You could do that? Of course, and I know just the place. A factory in my homeworld. I'll lead you to the portal. Just follow my voice. I don't want to come with you, but you can take it and bring it back. Disappeared into the night. This way. Kalen followed close behind the Kipsnick. Snapping photos to mark the way in case of getting lost. Over here. Over here, buddy. At last, Kalen reached a house. Seems quite abandoned, thought the boy. It's very abandoned. Dark, but there was the Kipsneed's voice again. 
beckon you. I wouldn't go in there, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck with you, bro. Nah, you're good. You're good. I'm good. Thanks. I'm good. Thanks, Caitlin. That's what you say. I'm good. Thanks. And then you dip. Caitlin, bro. Caitlin, bro. You were raised better than this. Something just tells me that you were. I must have my camera fixed. Oh, my God. This is going to get captured. So, in spite of his obvious fright. This was just an easy capture. Caitlin marched into the home. Easy capture, son. Easy. Cross you off my lips, Caitlin. Pictures. There he is. What is that? What is that right there? What is that? Go back. Is that a face right there? What is that right there? Is that a face? I think I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Okay, your camera's really fucked up, bro. It's like. Look at that. And you were captured, Caitlin. You were captured. Damn. Some weeks later, authorities discovered the basement. Damn. The rest of the boy was never found. Damn. Oh my, that, that ended up a lot darker than I thought. Way to traumatize me, Galen. What the f- If that didn't traumatize you, I have another one for you. And this one's an amateur short film called 2AM by a channel called Unhinged Films. And I'm telling you, it has one of the weirdest plot twists ever. It's crazy how one day can change the rest of your life. How are we supposed to know that today is the beginning of the end? What the f was that? What the hell was that? Scared the shit out of me. All right. Hello? What am I doing in this situation? I'm trying to think. What am I doing in this situation right here? What am I doing? Am I leaving my room? Probably not. Maybe I'm just thinking I saw something. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea there. Turning on. Yeah, I'm going back in my room now. We're stepping back. I'm thinking maybe I have an illness. Something is wrong. I need to go to the doctor. Step back. There you go. One. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. Let's relax. What the f*** is that? What the f*** is that? <laughs> Bro just said I can fix her. Okay. This is well done. She, just, uh, she clearly just shot this by herself in her house. Nice. <coughs> this is awkward. <laughs> He's just like this. All right, this is where you run. This is where you go back in the room. It's clear. Oh my God. Lock the door. Do you have a lock? Staying up till 2 a.m. to do this shit. Right along with a tripod. Just what? a tripod. Stupid. What? I get a glass of water and what? I'm gonna head to bed. This, this is ridiculous. And cut? <laughs> oh, it's real. It's real. I think it's real. I don't think the movie you were shooting is. I think it's real now, but. Sometimes our dreams come to... 
That shouldn't have scared me, and it still did. Sometimes our dreams come to life, so be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. This third video we're about to see is by a channel called Dr. Nowhere, who's actually a 17-year-old kid. And I have to be honest, I'm kind of concerned for his well-being, because I don't know why he's making stuff like this on his spare time, bro. Starving.help. Oh yeah, this is uncanny for sure. Oh my god, no one wants to see this in the middle of the night. Just, just, to just have that as your first video on your channel. You guys are probably like, what the hell? Our fourth video is by the one and only Meat Canyon, and it's called Chick-fil-A Sauce. And I promise you, if no other video on this list has traumatized you yet, the mommy milkers in this video will definitely do the trick. Before we get into it, can we just all acknowledge that Chick-fil-A is the best chicken sandwich place? Chick-fil-A is top of the top. Hello? Ah, damn it. I always want Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. Oh my God. And that's what you got on your school screen on a Sunday? Hey, are, are you guys open or what? His voice uh, acting has gotten so good bro. since I first unlocked. saw him. Everything is open. open or? Okay, yep, definitely closed. Okay, I should not be here. <laughs> oh shoot. Does, does someone need help? Hello? She's gonna be getting attacked by some sauce or something. Is everything okay in here? Hello? Oh my god. What the f What's happening? You good? Hey, are you okay? You alright? I heard screaming and I, or at least what I thought was screaming. Would you like Chick-fil-A sauce, sir? No. Huh? No, what are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey! What the fuck? Oh. Okay. Uh, Where did she go? Is she going to one of the rooms? This feels like a a demented Ed at an Eddie episode right now. Oh my God! Look at those milkers, bro. As sirs. That's how they make the sauce, boss. Come and take a sip. Come and take a sip of the saucy wassy. Chick Fil A sauce? Really? No chicky wicky. Come get some chicky wicky. Oh my god. Oh, so they come in. They come in on Sunday. They get ready for the week. But he's saying on Sunday they do some wild shit in there. I get it. That's why you shouldn't go to Chick-fil-A on Sunday. Why you think it's so good? I don't really like the sauce though. I'm more of a sweet heat sauce. I will say Popeyes has the best sauce. Uh, would you like a Chick-fil-A sauce? Uh, uh, no! Uh. Oh my god. Help! Help! Someone help me! Help! Uh. Uh. Oh. Is he gonna transform you? You're gonna become a sauce provider. Drink the sauce! Consume me! Nourish your body! S slurp it! Uh, slurp it! Inhale that sauce! Join us, my young one! Join us! Feed the world with our sauce! 
and become a part of the greatest franchise to ever live. Sir, would you like any Chick-fil-A sauce with that? My pleasure. <laughs> Tea. That's a that's a bop right there. Dubs in the chat for meat, man. Always slapping us in the face with that meat, huh? Always providing us with that meat, huh? Always sliding that meat in, huh? Hmm? Always dropping that meat on our table, huh? Always throwing that meat up against the wall, huh? Always providing that meat when we need it, huh? I don't got nothing, huh? <laughs>